On the 30th of October, protesters in Bangladesh were burning an effigy of the French President Emmanuel Macron. They were angry over Macron's crackdown on extremism. Cut to the 16th of November, Bangladeshis are issuing death threats to their former cricket team captain, Shakib Al Hassan. Why? Because he inaugurated a ceremony in India last week. When did Bangladesh join Pakistan and Turkey in spreading religious disharmony? Here's a detailed report. The incident is of course very sensitive. First of all, I want to say that I consider myself a proud Muslim. This is one of the world's top cricketers, reinstating his faith in Islam. Shakib Al Hassan is apologizing to the people of his home country, Bangladesh. He inaugurated a ceremony in the Indian city of Kolkata, a city whose jersey Hassan once sported in the Indian Premier League or IPL. I have never inaugurated a puja and as a conscious Muslim, I will not. It's another story that the pictures and videos from Kolkata prove otherwise. Shakib Al Hassan did cut the ribbon and light the ceremonial lamp. But in the wake of the anger in his home country, Hassan is in damage control mode. I have never inaugurated a puja and as a conscious Muslim, I will not. Even then, it was not right for me to go there. If you think so, then I am sincerely sorry and very sorry. I think you will look at it with an apologetic look. We will try to prevent such incidents from happening again in the future. Does Islam stop its followers from attending a festival of another faith? Does Islam stop a cricketer from sporting a gesture of religious harmony? No, it does not. But radical Islam does. Fanning the flames of radicalism are these three world leaders. Pakistan's Imran Khan, Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Malaysia's Mahathir Mohammed. They are promoting Islamic groups and hardliners in their attempt at spreading religious intolerance. They are also fanning global protests from the streets of Turkey to West Asia and Pakistan. The protests reached Bangladesh last month. Protesters burnt effigies of French President Emmanuel Macron because he was trying to protect his country by fighting Islamic extremism. Weeks later, Bangladeshis are now issuing death threats to their very own former captain, Shakib Al Hassan. A 40-year-old resident of Bangladesh threatened to kill Hassan. He brandished a sword on a Facebook live stream and asked the cricketer to learn from his Pakistani counterparts. You have hurt the Muslims by inaugurating the puja, he said, adding, don't you see Pakistani cricketers? Learn from them. The provocative video sparked a series of discussions in Bangladesh and it forced Shakib Al Hassan to issue a public apology. The incident is, of course, very sensitive. First of all, I want to say that I consider myself a proud Muslim and that is what I try to do. There will always be mistakes and we move on in life with mistakes. I must apologize to you if I have done anything wrong and I apologize for the inconvenience. Did Hassan really need to apologize? Progressive Bangladeshis as well as Bengalis are considering uh, Sakib's apology as communal act. Fans in Kolkata have also been shocked by his behavior. The world of sport is supposed to be independent of religion. If anything, it was supposed to bridge religious, social and cultural gaps. But certain leaders are now trying to hijack the sporting arena and hold sports stars hostage to the game of hatred. Religious hardliners are trying to use the likes of Shakib Al Hassan to fan religious disharmony. With inputs from Lakmina Jasmin Soma in Dhaka, Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.